All right, welcome back to another game of Play Action Football. My name is Brian Hafferkamp. I'm the designer and creator of Play Action Football. And in this game, we're going to try something new. We're going to try a little NCAA football as I've ported uh, a few teams, the top 25, over into Play Action Football. So we'll see, we'll see how this turns out and works out. I think it's going to be okay. I'm I've had to make a few changes here. You can see the kicking is not quite as detailed. Uh, we have different types of defenses which are not going to be necessarily accounted for in this particular game. So instead of a 4-2-5, I'm going to have them run the 4-3. It's going to be a little bit different, uh, maybe. I also created the whole top 25, so this is all on the front page. These obviously are not their players, but number three Texas and number four Alabama. I'm using the uh, week 15, um, what do they call it, the playoff results as far as the rankings are concerned. And so we have Michigan against Washington. This was the national championship game. <clears throat> so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I've got all my team set up. We got everything ready to go. Uh, Washington. And we'll just mark off that this is Michigan. All right, and we're going to try to uh, get through the first half here. Michigan's got a pretty heavy running the ball, 61% to 39% passing. So I assume that they're going to be running quite a bit off the clock. And then Washington, 58% pass. They are going to be running the pass-heavy offense. So we got our, depending on who wins the toss, we'll have our, uh, won't be using the balance very much, but Washington will use the pass-heavy offense, and Michigan will use the run-heavy offense. And so let's uh, check the kickoff. <coughs> So the coin toss, it's even Steven. All right, so Michigan wins the coin toss. They're gonna kick first. They'll get it in the second half. And in the first half, they'll kick off to Washington. So let's get the kickoff here and get this one started. A nine is gonna be good for 63 yards. So 60, one, two, three, it's down to the two yard line. And on the return, we have a three. That's good for 16 yards. So 16 plus two is 18. And that's where Washington will start first and 10. All right, 15 seconds off the clock. And this national championship is up and going. I've gone ahead and created a play result chart for 2023. It's actually very similar to the NFL one. A fewer fewer fumbles and interceptions but uh, on the whole largely the same and uh, sometimes they gain more yards sometimes they gain less yards but expect some offense in this one and we've got uh, the pass heavy offense first so we get that all lined up got our player finder die got all of our players here it's gonna be Penix Johnson Rogers Adunze Polk and Westover in the backfield for Washington. Uh, the Michigan defensive front, McGregor, Jenkins, Graham, Harrell. Linebackers, Colson and Barrett. And then the backfield, Wallace, Johnson, Moore, Sandra Still, and Page. So uh, we got on first down a short pass against the base blitz. So again, I'm going to use the 4-3 uh, for this 4-2-5. I'll have to go through and create a new column for some of these defenses that colleges are running. Um, so a short pass to a blitz is a zero. Oh, I should say the adjustments. Uh, Washington has a zero for their uh, team level adjustment, and Michigan is a plus one. So Washington plus two on offense but Michigan plus two or minus two on defense. So 
they cancel each other out so there's no uh, team level adjustments only the play level adjustments and on this play there's no adjustment to be made and so that's going to be a 10 10 on the short pass is going to be d6 plus 2 and that's going to be good for 8 yards that pass is complete to west over takes me a little bit of time here at the very beginning because I just have to write in people's names so eight yards takes it out to the 25 that'll bring up second down and two for the Huskies second down play this is an outside run to the blitz again and that'll be a minus one so 16 minus one excuse me 15 d10 plus two and that's going to be good for 10 yards. That's Johnson to the outside for a good gain on second and short as he picks up the first down. And that puts the ball at the 35 yard line. That'll be first and 10 for Washington. First down play. This is a screen against the Blitz. And that's going to be a plus two. So a good play call there from Washington. Uh, 19 plus 2 though is 21, so we're going to have a, <coughs> a pre-snap penalty on the defense. And that's going to be an offside, so cancels out the play, but gives them a 5 yards on first down. And it'll be first down and 5 for the Huskies. First and five, this is an outside run again against the base defense, or base blitz, sorry. Uh, outside against the base blitz is a minus one. Um, so 19 minus one is 18 on the outside run, D6 plus eight. And that's good for 13 yards, and that's gonna be Penix taking it to the outside for 13 yards up the field. And that'll be a first down run for Washington. So 10, 1, 2, 3. And they are now in Michigan Territory at the 47-yard line. First and 10 for Washington. Good first drive going on here. They started at their own 17. Got another screen pass. This time against a nickel. Screen against a nickel is a zero. That's not a, a terrific play call with all those extra defenders in the... Uh, defensive backfield so then we've got an 11 on a screen and that's gonna be d6 plus 2 and they keep rolling high here that's gonna be good for eight yards that catch is made by Westover again on the tight end screen for another eight yards that'll bring up second down and two at the 39 of Michigan <clears throat> All right, second down play. This is a medium pass against the Blitz. Uh, that's a zero, so they're even Steven. A seven on a medium pass is going to be incomplete. That pass intended again for Westover. Yeah, that's going to bring up third down and two for the Huskies. In danger of stalling out just past midfield here. Uh, we got a short pass against the Nickel Blitz. So... So short against a nickel is a zero. Oh, sorry, a nickel blitz. That's a minus one, so they're going to be minus one on the play. 11 minus one is 10. 10 on a short pass, D6 plus two. And that's good for seven yards. And the catch is made by who else? Westover <laughs> for seven. They haven't thrown to anybody else yet. Uh, but then why not? That's a first down pickup for the Huskies. And that's going to be first and 10 at the... Michigan 32, Michigan defense having a hard time stopping the offense here. This is going to be an outside run to the base defense, and that's going to be a minus one. 12 minus one is 11, four yards on the outside run. That's Johnson again for four, and that will take the ball down to the 28. It'll be second down at six for Washington. 
Outside run again. This is against the nickel defense. Um, outside run to a nickel is a plus one. So they get the advantage here. They're going to need that. Five plus one is six. On the outside run, that's a gain of no yards to Johnson again. <clears throat> we are at 11 minutes left, and that's a no yard gain. So it's going to be third down and six for the Huskies. Medium pass here is Penix from the shotgun. Goes against the nickel defense. So medium against the nickel is a minus one. So 12 minus one is 11. 11 on a medium pass is 11 yards. And that's a good connection. And they finally hit Polk, somebody other than uh, Westover. So they hit Polk on the outside for 11 yards and a first down. <clears throat> It'll be first and 10 from the Michigan 17. An outside run to a base blitz. Outside to a blitz is going to be a minus one. 10 minus one is nine, and that's going to be a D6 roll. That's good for four yards. That'll be Johnson again for four around the corner. As he almost really gets the corner but not quite and that'll take it down to the 13 yard line It'll be second down and six second down play this is a short pass against a blitz short against a blitz is going to be a zero so 10 on a short pass d6 plus two and that's another eight yard gain to west over as they're killing them up the middle with the passes to the tight end having a terrific game so far and we are at nine and a half minutes left in the first quarter. And this is uh, taken down to the five yard line. It'll be first and goal for Washington. First down play, this is a screen pass to the base defense. Screen to a base is going to be a plus one. So 16 on a screen pass is good for 7 yards, and that's going to be a touchdown pass to Roma Dunze as they throw it out quickly to the outside, and Adunze takes it in for 5 yards for the touchdown pass. And just like that, Washington goes down the field <clears throat> from their own 17, and they put up a score in the first quarter. Take half the first quarter doing it. Uh, for Washington, it's a 1 to 99 for the extra point, and that's a 0 1, so up and in. And Washington takes care of business on their opening drive. We've got uh, nine minutes left in the opening quarter, and it is 7 0 Washington. Kickoff from the Huskies is a 3, a 3. He is going to be a touchback. So Michigan will take over first and 10 from their own 25. And we get our first chance to see J.J. McCarthy, now a Viking. Hurt for the year, but uh, quarterback of the future. And he'll be facing off against this Washington Husky defense. The Huskies, not so great, just a zero. Uh, on defense So really the strength of their team you just saw <laughs> the offense and we'll see what the uh, running attack for Michigan can do there in the run heavy offense uh, So expect a lot of running plays here And this is going to be First and ten they have an outside run to the base defense again. They're going to be running the 4-3 as their base defense So outside to a 4-3 defense is a zero but Michigan has a plus one overall uh, advantage. And so they have a 16 turns to a 17, D6 plus seven. And that's good for 13 yards. That's going to be quorum around the edge for 13. And that'll be first down and 10 
from the 38 yard line of Michigan. First and 10, another outside run to the base. So this is going to be, again, a zero, but a plus one overall. 12 on the outside run, D6 plus two. And that's six more yards. This is Nixon. I'm sorry, Mullings. Getting into the game. And he picks up six on the play. Takes the ball out to the 44 to be second down and four for Michigan. <clears throat> second down play, inside run <clears throat> against the nickel. Uh, that's a plus two to go with their plus one is a plus three. 16 plus three is 19. D10 plus six is a 12 yard gain for Quorum up the gut. And we have a uh, running game as solid so far. <clears throat> so 10, 12, and we'll spot the ball at the 44 of the Washington Huskies. Both teams doing a good job going up and down the field so far. Uh, first down play, this is a screen. First pass for McCarthy against the Blitz. Uh, that's going to be a plus two, so it makes them plus three overall. 13 plus three is 16, and that's a seven yard gain. Pass complete to Johnson, the wide receiver. So Johnson for seven yards is going to pick up. Uh, that's not a first down. So McCarthy completes his first. And we'll spot the ball at the 37. It'll be second down and three for Michigan. Second down play, outside run to the Blitz. That'll be a minus one, so that takes their advantage away. They're even Steven on the play, but it's a high roll. So 15 on an outside run, D10 plus two. And that's a 10. That's as good as you can do. So 12 yards on the game. That's a quorum again for another 12 yards. And another first down pickup as he is picking up chunk yardage like crazy. The ball will be spotted at the 25. It's Michigan football, six and a half minutes left in the first quarter. They're down seven and looking to put up a score here. Uh, first down and 10. This is going to be an inside run to the base. And that's a minus one, so that takes their advantage away. A nine on an inside run is good for three yards. Quorum plows ahead for three. Ball will be spotted at the 22. It'll be second down and seven for the Wolverines. If you haven't guessed, blue is the Wolverines. Purple is the Huskies. Uh, so second down play. This is an outside run to the base defense. And that's a zero. So they keep their plus one advantage. 17 plus one is 18 on the outside run d6 plus eight and that's another 14 yards for quorum as he gets to the outside and they are just gashing this washington defense uh 10 11 12 13 14 takes it down to the eight yard line it'll be first and 10 uh Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. First and ten, or first and goal, I guess, from the eight. First and goal from the eight. Uh, short pass against the base blitz. So short against the blitz is a zero. They still retain their plus one advantage. Ten plus one is eleven on a short pass is good for six yards. That's complete to Edwards out of the backfield. So Edwards for six yards. And won't be enough for a touchdown, but it gets them down to the two. It'd be second down and goal from the two yard line. Second down play, this is a medium pass against, oh, I'm sorry, an inside run against a goal line defense. Inside against a goal line is a minus two, so that makes a minus one overall. 13 minus one is 12. 12 on an inside run is five yards, and it is Edwards. 
taking it in for the score as he powers his way past the line for two yards and a TD. So just like that, Michigan answers with a touchdown of their own. And it's 7-6. Let's see about the extra point. 1-97. to It's a 13, and so that's up and good. And that makes the score 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, with four and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Both teams looking good on offense so far. Michigan will kick off. It's an 8. 8 is 65 plus 5, so 70 yards. And I think we're going to take the touchback. That's 5 yards deep in the end zone. So it'll be a touchback. So 70 on the kickoff. And actually call that a touchback okay first and ten for <clears throat> first and ten for the Huskies at the 25 no 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 well thankfully that didn't go too far all right so we got first and ten Washington let's get our pass heavy offense up game tied at seven each team is scoring on their first drive Michael Penix looking good in his first drive. Uh, hit Westover for four out of five targets. Let's see if they start to open it up with some other players. This is going to be a deep ball, which Penix throws excellently. Deep ball against the Blitz is going to be a plus one. And three plus one is four. Four on a deep ball, though, that's going to be picked off by the Michigan defense. And let's see what happens on the play. It's a five on a deep ball. That's gonna be the line of scrimmage plus a D10. So line of scrimmage plus five. So they pick it off and they run it back to the line of scrimmage plus five. So to the 30. And that is a costly error. Uh, the interception made by Moore so we'll just mark that down with the INT and it'll be Michigan ball at the 30 yard line of the Washington Huskies and that's going to be the downfall for either team probably is turnovers as the Michigan defense comes up big there into the offense. McCarthy brings him out and he has got a first down play. This is an inside run to the base defense. That's a minus one. So that negates their minus one so they're even up. 12 on an inside run is five yards and that's going to be Mullings again for five. And that'll bring up second down and five from the 25 of Washington. National Championship game from 2023, trying out these uh, new cards from or for play action football, and everything looking okay so far. Feeling pretty good as far as the game is concerned. The game was 34-13, uh, Michigan won, so we'll see how this one turns out. Uh, second down and five, Michigan with an outside run to the nickel. That's going to be a plus one, so that makes their plus one plus two. Uh, if you can follow that, 17 plus 2 is 19, D10 plus 6. So, 7 yard gain, that is Edwards for 7. Edwards scored on a 2 yard touchdown run on the first drive. He's going to pick up 7 yards, that takes the ball down to the 18 yard line. So, inside the red zone now, Michigan looking to put the ball in the end zone. Uh, first down, this is a short pass against the inside, uh, short pass against the base. Uh, that's a minus one, so that makes them even up on the play. A four, 
on a short pass is going to be a quarterback hurry as they burst through the line. It's a six. A six is going to be a pass breakup, so that's going to be an incompletion. <clears throat> uh, and we can see who made that breakup. John, uh, Sandra still on the breakup. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not. It's uh, Muhammad. So I like to count those, whether it's a breakup or a pass deflection. I just like to put those down. So that's going to bring up second down and 10, as McCarthy can't connect. was targeting. We'll say it was targeting Wilson. We'll just get him on the board. Okay, second down and 10. This is, cover that up, an outside run to the nickel again. So that's a plus one, makes them plus two overall. Uh, 15 plus two is 17. D6 plus seven and that's good for 11 yards. That will be Edwards again, taking it around the outside. Picking up the first down. We got 215 left in the first quarter. It's now first and 10 from the Washington seven. I guess that's first and goal. First and goal, we have a short pass against the goal line defense. That's going to be a zero, so they retain their plus one advantage. 15 becomes 16 on a short pass. That's good for nine yards, and that's going to be a TD pass to Johnson. So first touchdown pass of the game for McCarthy as he connects with Johnson for seven yards. And that is going to be a touchdown as Michigan takes the 13-7 lead. Let's see about the extra point. Oh, close. They're a 1 to 97. That's a 93. So that's going to be up and in. They take the 14 7 lead. So they score off of the turnover as Pinnix throws the pick on a deep ball. And Michigan is able to capitalize on the turnover. All right, we got a minute 45 left in the first quarter. And it's 14 7 Michigan. Let's see about the kickoff. A five is going to be a touchback. So it'll be first and ten for Washington. Come on, paper. First and ten for Washington. They got a minute forty five in the quarter. Um, first down play inside run against the nickel. That's a pretty good call. That's a plus two, which they have a zero. So that's just plus two overall. 13 becomes 15. That's seven yards up the middle for Johnson, who's had a, a pretty good start to the game. That's going to be a good run and set them up with uh, second down and three. Second down play. This is a deep pass against a nickel that's a minus two so they're minus two on the play nine minus two is seven seven on a deep ball is a quarterback hurry oh. that's second down. quarterback hurry an eight is going to be a scramble and a nine is going to be a pickup of four yards for Pinnix who gets flushed from the pocket, but he manages to pick up positive yardage on the run. And that takes us to 45 seconds left. So uh, it was, they picked up seven and then another one, two, three, four. That takes it down to the 31. So he picks up the first down. And it's first and 10. That can't be right. 
All right, they started at the 25. They picked up seven. <laughs> and then they picked up one, two, three, four. So to the 36, man. All right, here we go. Uh, first and 10, this is another deep shot. This is against the base blitz. They might have them. Uh, they're a plus one. And an eight plus one is nine. And nine is going to fall incomplete. That pass intended for Polk. If they had a good high roll there, could have a chance for a big play. As it is, that brings up second down and 10. Second down play, this is a medium pass against the Blitz. So, Big Blue coming again with the Blitz. Um, medium against the Blitz is a zero. So they retain their zero. A four on a medium pass is going to be a sack. That'll be a first sack of the game for minus uh, D10, minus 5. And the sack is going to go to Trice. So that's going to end the quarter. And let's mark that down. So sack for minus 5. Trice, big time player. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? It was uh, it was Harold, Michigan's on defense. So Harold, the defensive end, comes up with a big play. That's going to be minus five. Takes it down to the 31, and that's going to bring up third down. Let's finish out this drive. We're going to start the second quarter, and. I suppose I should be responsible and go and get ready for work. So third down and long. This is 10, 15 yards. Third down and long. And I don't know if you're not familiar with the game, uh, each of the situations. So third down has a first, you know, one to 10 play call and then an 11 plus play call. So we're going to be in this column here. Every every down has that. Every type of offensive like play calling has that. Uh, also, the defense has an eleven plus column as well. So uh, third down and fifteen, <clears throat> we've got a deep ball from Penix against the dime, and that's going to be a minus three overall. That's about as bad as you can do, um, which basically negates this three. So you have a nine. Nine on a deep pass is going to be incomplete as he tried to hit Barner, the tight end. I'm sorry, he tried to hit uh, Bernard. Not Barner. And that's going to be an incompletion. So Penix, whose first drive was so stellar, has sputtered here a little bit at the back half of the uh, quarter. It's 14-7 uh, Michigan. Uh, we're going to have a punt, and then after this we'll set everything and I'll have to take off. So the punt is a 9. 9 is 55 yards. Good boomer of a punt. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 5. And the return is a good one as well. Return is uh, 18 yards. So 10, 20, 19, 18 out to the 32. So 55 and 18. Out kicked his uh, coverage, I guess. So that's where we're going to stand. Um, it'll be first down and 10 for Michigan at their own 32. 1445 left in the, actually 14 and a half minutes left, that uh, punt. So 14 and a half minutes left, and this will be a 14-7 uh, ball game so far. Good one. This is the national championship game, number one, number two. And um, this is using the play action football uh, game engine chart. And I think 
the easiest way to be doing college football is to just do the top 25. Uh, I know that that's not necessarily going to be very satisfactory to everybody, but if, if maybe I can get into, uh, it's just a lot of teams. Like even if you just do the power five, you know, you're talking like 40, 40 teams or something like that, 50 teams. So that's a lot, you know, um, uh, I already have to do some of this, like, it's really difficult to find these offensive and defensive players. Um, I thought I, I thought I could get, you know, remember in the, uh, when you're watching a game at the very beginning, they tell you who the offensive starters are and the defensive starters. They don't do that. Um, at least from what I can say, I watched the television, uh, the beginning of the televised game for the national championship and all they showed was the two quarterbacks. They didn't tell you all the linemen. I figured they would be able to tell you that, but thankfully, uh, Washington puts out a press release for every game that they play saying these are the starters. And then, uh, Michigan, I just happened to have find some guys, random website who was a big fan and he keeps track of everything from the season. And so he had all of their players as well. So on, uh, the college football reference, they don't have the starters. They don't even have them separated out by what type of linemen they are. They tackle guard, center, etc. So, uh, really difficult to find that if anybody knows of any, like really good information, uh, an information source that has all the rosters with the starters, that would be awesome. Um, I, it's not as uh, well put together. This is the hard part about college football is it's not as put together uh, as far as stats are concerned as the NFL, since the NFL is one league and it's all centralized. Each of these, um, conferences has their own way of doing stuff. And there's lots of places where you can go to find out the entire roster, but they don't tell you, okay, this guy started and the offensive players, you know, the skill position players are easy enough cause you can look at their stats, but the linemen, especially uh, are really difficult to kind of cross-reference and get a hold of. So this would be a very, um, I don't know how much historical football I'd be doing with these. Because going back in history, it only gets more difficult to try to find this stuff. So <coughs> either I'd have to leave off this part, uh, which I'm okay with because I can get these very easily from the stats. Uh, same down here. I can get all of this from the stats, but this part here is the more difficult part. So if you know of any place, uh, where I can go, uh, just to get, okay, these are going to be the starters for the team. And then, um, I'm definitely all ears. These I can get from the uh, stats as well. The way I'm doing this one is, is I'm basically kind of creating a league out of the 25 teams, the top 25. And, I'm pitting them against each other. So the, these are not, um, a little backstory. Usually what I do is, is I have a formula for figuring out, okay, how good is this team's defense against the average? And then same thing for the offense. How good is this team's offense against the average in the NFL? I just take the average of all the teams that are in the NFL, whatever is 26, 28, 30, whatever. And then that makes it super easy because it's one league and that's it. Uh, with these, these guys are coming from all over the NCAA. And so I figured to normalize them, I would put them in the co kind of a cohort together, find the average of all of these teams, and then their ratings would be against not all 130 college football, division one college football teams. It would be against that co cohort. Uh, if you think that's a bad idea, that's okay. But what you're going to wind up with is almost all of these against the average of the entirety of college football is going to be great. And so you're just going to have great on great all the time. I mean, here, um, among the top 25 teams, they're really good offense. They're really good defense, average offense, not a very good defense against the average. Uh, but like, um, you know, Notre Dame, they're a minus three on defense, not a good offense. I think they're zero or one on offense. So against that top 25, 
they're only uh, average to below average on offense. But on defense, they're as good as you can get. So just looking at how to do that, it was kind of a toss up of like, how do I do this? I don't want to really do it both ways and see which is better. But um, I felt like just kind of keeping the same structure that I have with the NFL teams where you have a, a cohort of 20 to 30 teams uh, would be the best way to go. So that's what I did with that. So these numbers here are not relative to college football. They're relative to the top, the final top 25. And so hopefully that makes sense and will make for better games uh, because you're not over inflating or, um, you know, everybody doesn't wind up with a minus a, a three and a two on offense and a minus two minus three on defense. Cause against the, against the average, I, I have no doubt Michigan's defense is a minus three, but against this cohort, there are minus two. So that's how I did that. And then I can get all the stats from here. So, um, everything feels pretty good. Uh, most of the, I don't have to make too many changes here. And I'm just using the modern penalties with the horse collar here. And, um, and I haven't had to change anything with the pass plays because the pass plays are kind of generic. Um, so all the different plays, inside run, outside run, medium, you're going to have to add your own little, um, imagination to what kind of, is that a counter play? Is that, you know, the stuff up the middle? Is that a stretch or whatever? So is it a pitch? Is it a option? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so you just, you know, you can kind of make that stuff up, but then we actually do have the players numbers here. So Quorum and Edwards definitely carrying the rock, uh, more than anybody else, uh, with Mullings getting some carries as well. And JJ probably on some design runs because he can run the ball, but mostly scrambles, I'm sure. Same thing for Penix. Uh, he was mostly a stand back there and chunk it down the field kind of guy. Well, I'm going to take a picture of this and we'll come back with uh, second quarter and beyond. Maybe tomorrow I can just finish the game. We'll see. Saturdays, I tend to have a little bit more time in the mornings. Um, but uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Is this uh, something good? Is it something that you would be interested in if I did a college NCAA version of play action football? Um, bum, bum, bum. It doesn't take a lot to make changes to the game itself. It's mostly just, you know, creating the card. So if you know of any uh, sources where I can go to just find every team's rosters, that would be awesome. Uh, Got to turn me on to all of the defenses, although... Uh, I was wondering where I could find the defenses, but then I went to, I was looking everywhere and I saw on Wikipedia, they list each team's defense, their base defense. So I was like, okay, good, golden. At least I have one source, you know, where I can go and get those uh, defenses like that. So that's super helpful. And we got all this other information off of the college football reference page. And so should be good to go uh, there. I used all my formulas over here for this. Uh, figuring out the yardages and that kind of thing. And uh, I think this is going to be uh, a really good one. So Michigan off to a quick start, 14-7, as they have the ball at 14 and a half minutes left in the half. And uh, we'll see if we can finish this one out at a later date. If you want to go and pick up the NFL version of this game, Play Action Football, you can go to ClarkAndAddisonGaming.com. And um, at, if you're on a desktop at the top, uh, there's a, a little link there in the header that says play action football. So you can go there and see all of the seasons that we have available. Currently it's, uh, 2007, 2023, 1991 and 1985. And I am in the process of updating the 2007, uh, NFL season with these smaller cards, but everything else, uh, including the demo, the free demo that you can download. All of those have these smaller cards and the penalties here with the yellow and just some new game mechanics that we built into the game if you're not familiar with it. Uh, it also comes with this uh, score sheet that has the individual players on it. So you can keep track of individual statistics. Uh, same here on this side. Place for the adjustments, weather adjustments, which I'm not playing with any weather adjustments in this one. Um, and then you'll get the uh, penalties for pre and post snap penalties. 
and then you'll get the special plays. So, uh, yeah, I think that's good. Um, if you like this video, click on the thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button. That's a easy way to let Google know both of those that this is high quality content and they will begin to show it to more people and more people can enjoy play action football. Uh, if you want to join the Facebook group, go to Facebook groups, look up Clark and Addison gaming company, um, fill in, answer a couple questions, agree to the group rules and I will let you in. And that's, that's where I post things first. So this video will be posted first there. Uh, actually, I guess first at YouTube and then my first social media place to put it is going to be that Facebook group. And that may be the only place that things get posted. So if you want to know more about what we're doing, you're not seeing very much in some of the other groups around Delphi, then just know that the Facebook group for this uh, Clark and Addison gaming company is the main social media hangout place. Um, some cool things going on here lately. Lots of people getting excited about on base baseball. And uh, that's my original game, uh, which is a kind of a quick playing baseball game, full play, but more like APA basic or strap basic. And uh, I've got some new cards. I don't have them next to me, but uh, they are tarot sized deck of playing cards. And it has all the players for the season on the cards. Plus all, the game engine is also included on the cards and you can play out an entire season just with the size of a, a card tuck box. So pretty cool uh, little product. We have 1980 and 1986 will be, I'll be making more of those maybe 2024 uh, the season that just completed and I'll start doing a modern season just to get that out there. <clears throat> it probably takes, uh, with regular processing four to six weeks, uh, from the time you purchase to the time you get the cards. Um, but they're on real high quality card stock, just like a playing card that you would buy. And they have a special coating on them, which kind of protects them, uh, as you play. So they're a little bit uh, medium to premium, something like that. And um, the box itself has instructions on the inside, uh, just reminder instructions about how to play. But you can also download the full game guide. You can download the uh, two different types of score sheets, one by at-bats and one for uh, inning by inning. So you can use either one of those, whatever you feel comfortable with, or bring your own score sheet or use digital diamond or whatever you want to do. And then, um, <clears throat> and then you get all the cards, uh, that come with it as well. Uh, so people are posting about that, posting their own kind of homebrew rules. Um, just saw those. I haven't read it yet, but a uh, new post from a gentleman who is posting his kind of rules, extra rules and things that he does like that, that he, when he plays on base baseball, <clears throat> which is the entire point of that game is to take it, mod it, add on to it. It's a super vanilla game uh, that gives you some hooks along the way to kind of mod in different things that you want to do. You can bring in modules from other games um, if you like how Game X does base running <clears throat> or infield in or whatever you want to do. So you can just add that to the game uh, pretty easily and um, make the game extend in whatever way you want. Maybe you want more base running, but you don't really care much. You know, simplified fielding is okay with you or vice versa. Uh, you can do that. So I really wanted to create a base level game where you can make the game that you want to play as opposed to me boxing you in with a bunch of, you know, it has to be played this way because the game engine requires it, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, that's what uh, on base baseball is all about. And yeah, I think I'm going to stop there. So the Huskies are down by a touchdown. Uh, they've just punted to Michigan. 14 and a half minutes left in the half, first half of this national championship game from 2023. Uh, Washington at Michigan, 14-7 Michigan over Washington. All right, I think that's it from here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.